While the offerings of every cloud provider like Amazon, Microsoft or Google might look very promising at first, you may not always enjoy the same quality of service. We all have mobile connections, don't we? And we all know how disturbing it is when services do not run the way they should. Similarly, when choosing either AWS or Azure or Google Cloud Platform, here are four things you should keep in mind while picking a cloud server. Hidden costs. There is no shortage of cloud providers that promise one thing at the start and later cheat clients with hidden costs. Most of the times, the main services are only available as add-ons. You need to make sure that what you are paying covers everything you want from your server. Technical support. Support2 is an add-on service with the most of these providers. You shouldn't have to spend more if you need support, unless you have an administrator with three decades of experience. Plus, the support team might take days to come up with the solution. The time loss is precious. Control. If you are an advanced administrator, the level of control you get might not be very convincing. Technically, everything is managed by the providers themselves, leaving very little on your part as an admin. To add to this, you might always find updates that are pending, no matter how frequently you update your server. Service limits. To prevent overuse, there are limitations on virtually everything. Exceed the limits and bam, your services get terminated. For instance, AWS grants a maximum of 100 rules per permission by default. This is quite low, considering that a secure website will have thousands of such rules. For every provider, for every service, the bottom line is, the more you pay, the more you can use. To know more about clouds, stay connected to SciFuture.